All right, guys, Cutterboy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack getting ready to do a review on this guy right here. This is the Bear Creek Arsenal. This is their upper chambered in 458 SOCOM. You guys asked for it, and here it is. But before we get into this uh, video review, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the guys who signed up on the Patreon thing. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means the absolute world to me. And we will be doing something special for you guys very, very soon. Uh, yeah. So anyway, the link's down below if you guys want to help and donate to the channel now that uh, YouTube has demonetized me. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> so all those funds will be going to purchase ammunition. And also another thing I want to tell you guys about, I've got a new logo as well as my awesome niece, Miss Lillian, who is a website developer for a very big corporation, uh, is putting together my new website. So what we're going on is we're taking all the links that were down below and I think that was what kind of caught me in trouble. Uh, and they will be on my website, the new one, and I'll let you guys know when that's going to be launched out of here. But uh, you'll see the new logo at the end of this video. Plus, you'll be able to see uh, in the very near future, we're going to be having some hats, some stuff, patches, and T-shirts made up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, you. All right, so anyway, 458 SOCOM. Here's the deal. A little while ago, I got into big bore stuff, and I've not really had a whole lot of uh, experience in this, but this is a, uh, what is this thing called? This is a Ruger Red Hawk. This is chambered in 44 Magnum, and I'll be doing a review on that one very, very soon. This is an old school pistol. Uh, it does come with the scope mounts, and I'm really looking forward to doing some serious shooting with this because it is a blast to shoot. But anyway, getting into the large bore stuff, had a couple of the viewers ask me, hey, listen, when are you going to get into something other than just the regular old 223556 five, stuff? Well, to the answer, uh, I got an email from the guys over there at uh, Bear Creek Arsenal asked, hey, man, would you be interested in taking a look at one of our uppers for review? And I said, you know what? Let's kill two birds with one stone. You send me the 458 SOCOM, uh, the viewers get what they want, and I get something to review. So here it is. Now, I will tell you something. First, viewing of this thing the anodizing is absolutely awesome i love this handrail and it is beefy that barrel is absolutely nuts and we'll go ahead and put it on the table behind us here in a few minutes to give you a better sharp look at it it does have a 16 inch barrel carbine length gas system big old muzzle break up here it has a single feed ramp in here picatinny rail all the way across the little tabs keep it centered up and this thing is awesome but i will tell you this Let's just take a look at something. This is a 6.5 Grendel upper. This guy right here is 4 pounds, 2.5 ounces. This thing, 5 pounds, 2.5 ounces. But I'm going to tell you something. I've had an experience shooting this guy at a, an event. Was it fun? It, it was fun shooting something that was as big as this 200 or 350 grain ballistic tip uh, underwood round. That thing is huge. But I'm going to tell you something. Is it something that I would want to shoot every day? No. But I will tell you this. If you got to take out a brick wall or door hinges or anything else the size of an elephant, this is the round to do it with. So anyway, here we go. This is the full-blown review uh, of the table, and we'll take it out and shoot it uh, in the second part of this series. But that's it. Let's get on over to the table and take a look. Stand by. All right, so we're sitting out here on the review table, and here we go. And the idea of this, guys, is to give you a detailed look at this thing prior to the range review. I always thought it was really cool to go ahead and do that. So let's do this. First of all, we start from the rear to the front. We've got a traditional style charging handle. So here is the BCG. Now I want you to take a look at the face of that thing. Every one of these things comes out of the shop and it's been test fired. And I guess they go ahead and they give you a guarantee of one MOA or better. So look at the face of the bolt right there. You can see the ejector and there is the extractor. It's got, it's looks like to me that it has been hand tuned maybe. I'm not sure, but there you go. All right, while we're taking this thing apart, I'll just let you know that if you uh, use the discount code of CODABOY underscore 32, you will get free shipping. And that's one of the ways that they use to track any kind of sales that come through our stainless steel firing pen, fire penning. There you are. Let's go ahead, take a look at the cam pen here. Nothing unusual to see there. 
there is our BCG. Let's go ahead and do a tour around it. MPI. And this thing is labeled 0 .450458. Right there. Maybe you can see that. Outstanding. Let's go ahead and take out our extractor to see what that looks like on the inside. Ta da no donut ring, but it does have a little rubbery piece in there, as you can see. There you go. Let's look at the tooling on the interior. There you are. Again, there's the bolt face, lugs, O-rings. Looking good. All right. Go ahead. Charging handle. Looks to be just a regular old traditional charging handle, nothing to see there. Nothing to see there, folks, just a regular old charging handle. It comes with a Ford Assist. We've got a shell deflector right there, regular old mil-spec dust cover. The, let's see here, looking at the underside of the forearm, not bad. You've got M-Lock series right here. You can see where the gas block is on there. Look at that. That bad boy's got screws there, screws there, and screws there. I don't think they want that thing to go anywhere. Moving on top, you do have a pick rail section that runs all the way across the top and the bottom. I always do this when I'm checking my alignment, but you can see they do have little tabs right here. So the alignment is straight and narrow all the way across. And one of the other things that I do is I do like to place it flat on a flat table to make sure that this is an alignment all the way across. Now look at that big ass muzzle brake. That thing is huge. And look at that hole. That is a big old hole right there. You do have a QD section right here for a sling attachment and one in the front. Now somebody had told me that I need to check for tightness of the barrel nuts. Why don't we do this? We'll go ahead and let's take the hand guard off and see how that thing looks. FYI, I do this on every one of my firearms when I get them in, is I double check. This uh, handguard uh, screw was just a little bit loose. That one was a little tighter. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that barrel, wow. All right, guys, that's a barrel nut, if I've ever seen a barrel nut. That thing is bad to the bone. Taking a look at our gas block right there. It's a carbine length gas block. You can see couple little notches right there oh, that could have been a little tighter all right look at that barrel man isn't that huge that thing is unreal big old barrel nut and it is one of those barrel nuts that has to be uh, sequenced in order to put your uh, tube in there all right, take a look at the bottom here. We can see there's a single feed ramp right there. Pretty cool. All right, guys, well, that's it. The nuts and bolts and the interior of this thing, 458 SOCOM. That's bad. All right, so one of the things we'll do is we'll actually have to do a scope cam down that barrel, but I'll have to do that at a later date. Look at how beefy that gas block is. To handle something like this but it's a lot of fun we are going to take it out the distance and we do have a bunch of these guys right here with the ballistic tips on them this is by underwood I had to buy these 250 something dollars and change and i believe the best price that i found was over there at midway if this is something that i enjoy shooting i'll probably go ahead and invest in some dies but you got to get the brass to keep going uh, also, the Social Regressive, I'll go ahead and let you guys know this. He's got a really cool video out showing some ballistics uh, using gel, and it is frightening. But in any case, guys, that's it. Again, thanks to the Patreon folks. I really appreciate you guys joining in on the fun. Uh, we'll plan something special for you guys down the road. And uh, we always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free because... And when it's not free, that's when you break out this guy right here. Especially up where is that? Champaign, Illinois. <laughs> it's Good Boy 32. I'm out.